As an occupational therapist, I used art to help develop fine motor skills in children. And during a career break, I realised that the artist's dream remained and it was now or never. did I develop this technique? It started off as um, experimentation with texture and I was looking to find a way to create the paintings without having to worry about structure and I started off using watercolour and Indian ink and I thought masking was probably the best way to start so I experimented using a colour shaper and masking fluid and the first painting was promising but I wasn't very happy with how thick the lines were and the lack of control was frustrating and I suddenly remembered I had this set of compasses from when I was a child I was giving them as a Christmas present when I was about 12 I think or no 11 and they had um, something called the ruling pen in and I thought I'd get that out and had a look. thought that might be quite good for using with masking fluid. And lo and behold, it was. And it was very good. I've since found out that it's something that some art schools do recommend for using with masking fluid. But it, at the time, it wasn't something anybody had told me about. Um, I hadn't really thought about it. I then suddenly thought I had all these compasses and they might make interesting shapes. So I had spent I spent a while developing circle based abstracts and that's really where the style developed. I started using cling film. I threw everything I could think of in ways of creating texture, but the cling film worked quite nicely and I liked the ink because of the immediacy of the colour. Watercolour is great, but to actually get a large quantity of strong colour, you've really got to mix quite a lot to begin with. And it settles out and it's a bit annoying sometimes. So I thought I'd use acrylic inks and I've expanded the range of it. I started off with a eight colours and as I discovered more colours, they built up over time. And that was really how the technique evolved. About the same time I was experimenting with the abstract, I was also thinking about architecture. I, because I grew up in Middleton and it's part of the cotton industry for many years, there were lots of cotton mills around and a lot of them have disappeared now and I really wanted to try and capture the ones that remained before it was too late really. Uh, so I went around taking lots of photographs and while I was taking these photographs I discovered other buildings like the bridge on Corporation Street in Manchester and I really like this contemporary architecture and started taking photographs of those as well. Originally, I'd intend, originally, I'd intended using them as collage work, but I just had this brainwave one day. How would they look if I used the technique I developed with the abstracts with the architecture? So I did a couple, and the first ones were promising. They weren't brilliant. But that was really the start and I did a few more and the more I did them, the more I liked them, the more I felt I was achieving something that I was really pleased with and it sort of snowballed since then. Mm -hmm.